Hello everybody, it's the Tech Tipster here again showing you how to install and set up ROM browser for your Kodi XPMC installation. If we look on screen now, you're going to see a beautiful version of ROM browser in its final form. This is what you can expect to achieve with ROM browser with a bit of tinkering and oh is it beautiful. You can see we have access to PlayStation, Super Nintendo, Genesis and much much more with a small game trailer running in the top left showing you what you can expect from each game. Unfortunately, this tutorial is going to be quick and just show you the basics of setting up ROM browser with your Super Nintendo collection. But if there are any requests, we will jump further into this and have a look at setting it up just like you see here. So let's get started and get ROM browser installed in the system. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is get an emulator and some ROMs. So the three websites I like to use are romnation.net, emuparadise.me, and romhustler.net. Romnation is probably my favorite just due to its simplicity. So navigate to this website, go to emulators, you can see the systems available. We're going to go to Nintendo SNES, and there's two which I recommend, SNES 9X or ZSNES for Windows. Now I've uh, already downloaded SNES 9X, so I'm not going to download that now, but click that and extract that to your hard drive in a folder called SNES 9X or SNES, whatever you prefer. And then we need some ROMs as well. Now guys, there's a few things to be aware of when you're downloading ROMs. The first of that is occasionally you'll get a .7z file. And let's have a look at one of them now. Let's just see if we can replicate this. I'm just going to download this very quickly. And we can see that we do have a 7z file here. Now, emulators cannot read .7z files. They can only read .zip. So we're going to have to extract this file. So that's the first thing to be aware of. The second thing is, once you unzip this, in some cases you're going to see a lot of files. Now, if we leave it like this, we're going to clutter up our ROM browser in Kodi. Uh, and the reason for this is just because there's a lot of different versions of the game. There's US version, there's European versions. We've got the different languages here. Uh, sometimes people do custom ROMs. We've got a Japanese version here. So we don't need all of them. We only need one. And I'm just going to choose this one at the top, the US version. And I'm going to delete everything else. So now we just have one file. We're going to get one listing in ROM browser, and that's going to be great. Now we can jump over to Kodi and start the installation. So the first thing we want to do is go to System and go to File Manager. Now we're going to have to add a source, we're going to have to go to Browse, we're going to have to locate our SNES folder on the hard drive where we installed it or unzipped it. So mine was in D, SNES 9X, and once I get into that folder I'm just going to push OK. I'm going to enter a name for this media, it's, it's fine as it is, and then I'm just going to push OK. Now we're going to go back, we're going to go into System, we're going to go to Add-ons, and we're going to try something a little bit different today. We're going to search for an add-on and we're going to go ROM Collection. And there it is there. We've got two available, ROM Collection Browser and ROM Collection Browser Service. This one's going to get automatically installed, so we're just going to install ROM Collection Browser. Let's install that. And we're enabled. Push back. And let's go back to the main screen and go into Programs. And here's ROM Collection Browser. Now, opening it on the first time, we're going to Config it. And this is where a lot of people have trouble, so let's just do that now. Let's create a config file. Yes. I'd like to scrape game info and artwork online, so that just means we're going to pull some pictures and information on the game off the internet. So yes, I'm happy with doing that. We're going to set up our SNES today, so we're going to scroll down to Super Nintendo push enter. It's going to ask us where our SNES, SNES emulator is. Now because we went to the file manager before and added this as a source, it's going to come up here. So that's great. So we go enter. And SNES on X will select that and push enter. Now our emulator params, we can leave that as it is. We'll push done there. Path to SNES ROM, so we're going to go to our ROMs folder, which we put inside our SNES folder. I'm going to push OK. 
Now the file mask, this is just the files that the emulator loads. Now for SNES 9X we have three. We have a wildcard, shift 8, dot zip. We'll put a comma there. We also have a wildcard dot smc. And we also have a wildcard dot sfc. Now we'll push done. We don't have any artwork, so we'll push cancel for that. We don't want to add another collection right now, so we'll push no. So that's it guys, now we just go and import our games. Now this can take some time because we're downloading that information on each game from the internet. So depending how many games you have, the longer you'll have to wait, but be patient and you're going to get a beautiful screen once this is all done. Now guys, I'm just going to skip forward in the video now to the import after it's complete and we're going to look at ROM browser. So guys, here we are. We've imported all our games and we've got ROM browser complete and running. Now let's just have a look here at what I've got. We've got the picture on the left, a short description, and on the right we've got our list of games. If we go up to the top, if we push the left key, we can do all our filters. If we did have a lot of files here then we could filter by year by console etc but it's very simple at the moment so that doesn't matter too much so let's just show you how it works and we'll load up super mario kart There it is guys, that's awesome. And when we exit out of here, sometimes it takes a second, but there we go. Back to the ROM browser. There you, there you go, that's a basic introduction to ROM browser. If you want to know more, please tell me in the comments what systems you want to see, what advanced tips you want to see, and we'll get around to that as soon as we can. Thanks guys, see you next time.